Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to share Facebook page posts to multiple Facebook pages. Suppose I am running multiple Facebook pages and now I want that as soon as I will post something on one of my Facebook page, the same post should also be shared on multiple Facebook pages I have. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate our different pages on Facebook and that we are going to do with the help of amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. Now here in our trigger, we have Facebook pages and in our action again we have Facebook pages. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically share our Facebook page post on multiple Facebook pages. Let's suppose I am running a Facebook page with a name as Fashion and Accessory Shops and now I want that as soon as I will post something here on this page, the same post should automatically be shared on different Facebook pages I have. Okay, in order to create this automation, we are going to link different Facebook pages all together and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. This is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page, we can find two options here, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now as an existing user, I am directly clicking on sign in. This is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows and we can also create folders here to save our workflows. As you can find, I have two folders here in this test integrations folder. I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, we can save our workflows on the dashboard accordingly. To create a new workflow, we are going to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. So let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, let us provide a name over here. Share Facebook page post on multiple Facebook pages. After giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select test integrations folder and now we will click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. What are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. The trigger here says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whenever we are going to select something in trigger, that is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions. Now, let's suppose here in this workflow, we are going to take Facebook page in our trigger and in our actions, we are going to take different Facebook pages. And we want that as soon as a post will be created on one Facebook page, automatically the same post should also be shared on different Facebook pages. Here, we can find that our action is a response towards our trigger because when the trigger happens, that means the post is created on one page, then only the post is shared on different pages, okay? Now, after understanding the concept of trigger and action, let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application. Now, here in our trigger application, we are going to select Facebook pages. Let's do that. And now we are going to select the trigger event. Now, what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So we are going to select new post as our trigger event over here, as we want that whenever a new post will be created on our Facebook page, the response of that post should automatically be captured here in Pabli Connect. And with that response, the workflow should get trigger. Let's click on connect and now from the given options, I'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with my Facebook pages account. If you want, you can also go with your existing connection. After doing this, let's click on connect with Facebook pages. As we have done that, our authorization has become successful. So because I was already logged into my Facebook account, the authorization has become successful very easily. Now here after building the connection, first of all, we need to select the page on which we want to create the post. So this is my Facebook page, fashion and accessory shop. First of all, I will connect the same page with Pabli Connect. So let us select the page over here, fashion and accessory shop. Okay. And after selecting the page, we will click on save and send test request button. 
As we have done that, it is showing waiting for webhook response. Now, what does this mean? This means that now we have to do a test submission by creating a new post on the Facebook page, which we have recently selected so that the response of that post will be captured here in Fably Connect. For this, I'm going to take you towards my Facebook account once again, and we will create a post over here in this page. So let's suppose I'm having a boutique for which I am running multiple Facebook pages. And in order to promote my business, I want that whenever I will post something on this particular page, anything related to fashion or any other business related content i want to share the same content on my different facebook pages also so for doing that first of all we are going to create a post over here first of all i'm going to click on this switch now okay so let me create a post over here so here i'm going to enter the content of the post and the content is related to fashion for christmas here i'm going to click on post and our post is created over here. So we will go back towards Fably Connect and here we can find that already we have received the response along with all the details related to the post. Okay, so this means that our Facebook page is successfully connected with Fably Connect. And now what is our motive? Our motive is to use this response in order to share the same post on different Facebook pages. For that, we are once again going to connect our different Facebook pages with Fably Connect. Okay, so this is another page I have with a name as Your Daily Fashion. And the third page is with a name as Pabli. Okay. I want to link all these pages with Pabli Connect. Okay. So first of all, let us connect your daily fashion page with Pabli Connect. Let me select my action application once again as Facebook pages. And now we will select the action event. Here we will select create page post as our action event. Okay. Let's click on connect and we will go with the existing connection only as we have already built the connection with Facebook account. Let's click on save. And with this, once again, the Facebook page is connected with Pabli Connect. Now, after building the connection, here we are going to select the Facebook page. And our Facebook page is Your Daily Fashion. So I'm going to select Your Daily Fashion over here. And now it is asking us the message you want to post. Here our motive is to create the same post which we have recently created on our Facebook page named as Fashion and Accessory Shop. So what we are going to do, we will simply use the detail which we have received in our earlier response and that we are going to do with the help of mapping. Now what is mapping? Mapping is inserting data from previous step. Here our previous step is given. When we will select that, here are all the details related to the step. So whatever data we want, we will simply select that and it will be mapped automatically. We want to map the content over here. Content is given. Let's click on it and it's mapped. Now, when we have mapped this content, it has become dynamic now and it is going to change with each and every response. That means now whenever we are going to create a new post on our Facebook page and the response of that post will be captured in Pabli Connect, automatically the message in this field is going to be replaced with the content of that new post. Okay. But in case we will enter it manually, then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, in order to automate the entire process, we use mapping. Now, apart from this, if you want to attach a particular image along with the post, you can also map the url of that image here in this field okay this is a text post so i'm ignoring this field let's click on save and send test request button and here we can find that we have received the response along with the response we have also received one id and this means that the post is successfully created on another facebook page also let's go and check and here i'm going to refresh the page once and yes, we can find that on our page, Your Daily Fashion, a new post is recently added with the same content, Christmas Day is a perfect time to indulge into retro fantasies. Okay, this means that our workflow is perfectly successful up till now. Now here I want to move towards my next action step. And my next step here is to share the same post on another Facebook page also. And the name of the page is Pabli. So now what we are going to do, we are going to connect this Pabli page with Pabli Connect. Let's move towards our action step. We will click on this add action step button. And we will select the action application as Facebook pages once again. In our action event, we will select create page post and we will click on connect. We will go with the existing connection only. And after building the connection, let's quickly select the page. Here the name of the page is Pabli. So I'm going to select the page. And here once again, we are going to map the content from our previous response. Done. Click on save and send test request button. And here is the response. So once again, we have received the ID. Let's go and check on Pabli page also. We will refresh the page once. And yes, here also the post is created successfully with the same content. This means that we have linked all the Facebook pages successfully with the help of Pabli Connect. And now whenever we are going to post something on one page, the same post will also be shared on multiple Facebook pages. Okay, so we are going to test this workflow once again. I am going to create a new post over here on my fashion and accessory shop page. Let's say this is the content, the winter season of 2024. Let's say this is the content for a new post, winter trends 2024. Okay, and now I'm going to click on post to post the content. 
and as soon as I have created a post, we will go and check on different Facebook pages and we will see that without any efforts within seconds, the post will be shared on those pages also. So here we are on your daily fashion page. Let's refresh the page once. And yes, without any efforts, we can find that the post is shared here also. Once again, we are going to check on Pabli page also. Let's refresh the page. And yes, the post is shared here also. Okay, so this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine. Let's go back towards Pabli Connect and we will summarize what we have done here in this workflow. So basically, we have used three simple steps over here, trigger and two actions. In trigger, we have taken Facebook pages and in action, once again, we have taken Facebook pages. And basically, we have connected different Facebook pages with the help of Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a post will be shared on one of the Facebook page, automatically the same post will also be shared on different multiple Facebook pages we have. In the same manner, very easily you can connect multiple Facebook pages and then whenever you will share a post on one Facebook page, automatically the same post will also be shared on different Facebook pages. Okay, so this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.